thanks for checking out this video. Uh, so this video is part of a playlist where I am doing a lot of playthroughs and breakdowns of different guitar intros for worship songs that have really helped me grow and shape my guitar playing over the years. And I'm hoping these videos can help do the same for you. So this is the breakdown for uh, Anchor by Hillsong Worship. This is in the key of E. Um, and this riff is a really cool riff for um, just repetitiveness, but also practicing some different timings just because the um, the riff itself is slightly syncopated in spots. Um, but uh, it all does kind of follow chord shapes, which um, is really, really nice, makes it easy to follow along and kind of understand. So the chords underneath this riff are C sharp minor, E major, B major, and then um, A major. And so this whole riff is kind of focused around the A shape of the E chord. And then it'll also be um, like the E minor shape of the C sharp minor, the E major shape of the B, and then um, the C shape of the A major chord. And so if you don't understand Cage yet, it would be a good, good thing to know and understand, um, but I'll break that down a little bit easier in just a second. So the first part of the riff, So this is the part that's played over the C sharp minor chord. So I do it with my first finger and my third finger. So I bar on the D, G, and B string at the ninth fret with my first finger. And then with my ring finger, I'm gonna play the 11th of the D string. And I just go up the string. So 11 on the D, nine, nine on the G and B. And then I move my ring finger up a little bit to the G string to play 11 on the G string. And then I play nine again on the B string and then nine again on the G string. And then I just repeat that one more time. And then the second part of the riff is just like it. Instead of being over the C sharp minor though, it's over the E major. And it starts almost exactly the same. It's just uh, you walk up this bar on your first finger. So nine, nine, nine for the D, G, and B string. And then the rest of the riff is exactly the same. Uh, and then the third part of the riff is where the, the shape changes a little bit. So uh, kind of the bass shape is gonna be your ring finger on the nine of the D string, your second finger is gonna be on the eight of the G string, and your first finger is gonna be on the seven of the B string. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your pinky there at the ninth fret of the G string. Technically makes this a B suspended type feel of the chord. And you're gonna do the same thing in your right hand where you just go up the strings from D, G to B. So you're going nine, nine, seven. Then you go back to nine with your pinky on the G string. Back up to seven on the B string. And then you lift your pinky up and play eight on the G string. And again, you play that one twice. And then the riff that you play over the A major chord is actually the exact same that you play over the C sharp minor chord. So again, this one, uh, pretty simple to understand, um, but as far as playing it and getting it with timing, it is a little bit trickier, so just be sure to listen to the recording, um, and you can also watch the beginning and the end of this video, um, slow it down on YouTube using the speed modifier thing to just practice getting that timing um, down just right. Again, this video is part of a playlist, uh, so if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and click the link in the description and it'll take you to some more.